light load, medium load, heavy load, overload. These four states of equip load determine how difficult your time in Elden Ring will be. Generally speaking, most of the player base aims to have medium roll at the most, depending on the archetype of the build in question. Most players only see the surface value of these different levels of load, that being how it affects your roll. What if I told you it also affects backsteps? And before you ask, no, it doesn't give invincibility on backsteps. It does, however, change the cancel windows of backstep into attack and ash of war. There's quite a bit of variation for all of these values, so uh, buckle up. Displayed here is a visualization of the cancel windows of backstep into ash of war. Take a look. As you can see, the fastest cancel window for Ash of War is medium load. Following closely behind is light load. And slowly making its way up to speed is heavy load. This is one of the reasons why I don't use light load. As it turns out, medium load backstep will cancel into Ash of War deceivingly fast, allowing you to engage in a bit of micro spacing to get the upper hand on an aggressive opponent. Sadly, not all Ashes of War are created equally. Only some Ashes can take advantage of this. Others just, um, don't. Here's a small list of the ones I know for sure that work and don't work. The list is incomplete because there are just too many Ashes of War to test and not enough time in my pathetically limited schedule to try all of them, which is why I encourage you to experiment. Let's take a look at the backstep to attack cancel windows. Medium load reaches the finish line first, once again. But to my surprise, heavy load beats light load by a total of 6 frames. While 6 frames might seem insignificant, that can often decide the difference between you being struck during or before your hyper armor activates, i.e. the difference of your attack being interrupted or not. Light load seems to have been designed to limit the lengths by which you can mix up your timings for melee attacks. However, using light load transforms your roll into one of the most atrocious, man-made horrors in the entire game. Imagine Bloodhound Step, except it doesn't cost any FP. It works especially well for any build that specializes in zoning, be it bow or spell. Trying to close the distance against somebody using light roll to zone will be incredibly difficult. Blah blah blah, you all know about light roll. Medium load seems to strike a balance between offense and defense, granting you more ways to mix up your zoning and rush down potential. Medium load trades the roll distance of light load for quicker cancels for backstep into ash of war and attack, perfectly balanced as all things should be. Heavy load on paper seems kinda trashy, having worse cancel windows into attack and ash of war compared to its brethren while also suffering from the highly exploitable clumsy dodge roll that is granted once you equip too much. Oh, and your stamina regeneration is also zapped to hell. So have fun with that. Despite its shortcomings, heavy roll has a highly abusable feature. You can cancel your backstep into guard at any frame of your choosing, given your hands are fast enough, your IRL hands. This technique can only be executed with a weapon that is wielded over the shoulder. Watch this video for a more detailed explanation of this technique. This essentially negates the previous numbers stated about its cancel windows, its backstep cancel windows into literally anything, or whatever you want it to be. This allows you to delay your next move or rip it out faster than if you were to do it by normal means. You essentially get better movement options than medium roll should you decide to add quick step into the mix. Remember what I said about some Ashes of War not being able to be used out of backstep as fast as others? Fuck that. Heavy Load lets you perform any Ash of War out of backstep as fast or as slow as you want to. And yes, any Ash of War doesn't matter which one. This includes unique weapon skills as well. In truth, this benefits colossal weapons more than it does for medium weapons, as the attack into roll and backstep windows for colossal weapons are much quicker than the attack into attack or ash of war cancel windows. However, there's much that I still don't know about utilizing the heavy load backstep cancels to its true potential. 
In truth, it's a bit difficult to use due to the stamina regeneration penalty attached to heavy load, not to mention the increased amount of inputs you have to do to execute the new movement techniques you gain. I have nothing to say about overload, it is not great. I recommend that you don't use it. That's all for now, I hope you found this video useful, thanks for watching, and have yourself a great day.